All right, this week's free stock pick from greatstockpicks.com. The symbol is HSOL. Draw a little line here on the symbol. Um, why do I like this one? Well, HSOL, if I scoot the chart over, you can see, uh, like a lot of the other low price solars, just getting killed here. Um, and then look what happened. Nice, nice big, uh, like kind of like a week long bounce from below $5 to $6.74. That's a big move. Scroll to the right. Uh, had a secondary bounce on decent volume for this stock, uh, over 2 million shares, back to 6. And then the other day, about uh, what, four days ago, huge volume for this stock, almost 5 million shares, took it to 614, and it's been kind of slowly grinding higher ever since. Um, and this one really has room to run. So uh, I'm calling this at 631. It's got to get up to 631 over this three-day high. That's my entry price on Tuesday. If it gets there, 631. Uh, the stop will be based on intraday candles, so I can't give you an exact stop, but as always, use correct position size and uh, logical stop based on the intraday candles. Again, I can't pick it today because uh, I, tonight because I don't know where, um, where it's going to open. Now, you could look at uh, Monday's trading, okay, and you kind of have a, a range here. So if this hits uh, six, 631 on Tuesday, you could have a worst case stop at 615 something like that I I wouldn't let it go that far against me but if your position size is correct assuming uh, you know the stop gets hit your position size is still within your risk parameters then you can kinda of pick your stop based on that I will choose mine based on intraday candles now a few caveats if you will um, if it opens and we say this every week but it's it's worth repeating if it opens uh you know gaps down and opens at 550 well then 630 means nothing or six uh sorry 631 means nothing i'm not gonna I'm not gonna have it gap down and open at 550 and run all morning and then and then buy it after it's made that run so you have to use some common sense um conversely if it opens at uh 650 well in other words it gaps above our trigger price I'm not just going to dive right in. I'm going to wait and look for a low risk setup like we teach in our chat room. So much of what we do is based on intraday entries, intraday setups, even though a lot of our trade ideas are formed from the overnight charts, from the daily charts. So, uh, you know, having said that, please understand that we're assuming it's going to open somewhere in the 620s. And uh, if it triggers in the first few minutes, uh, we may or may not take the trade. I try not to take a trade that triggers in the first five minutes because oftentimes you'll get whipped right back out of it. Um, I'm not completely opposed to taking 631. If it opens at, say, 625 and triggers in the first five minutes, I'll just use a tighter stop and smaller shares because stocks that do hit catalyst prices, trigger prices in the first five minutes, have a, have a higher propensity to fail, honestly. So uh, you want to be careful and uh, always choose correct position size. Now, we have about uh, four or five other stocks on our watch list, and we always build a list as the day unfolds as well, um, looking for high volume anomalies and that sort of thing, and the setups that we teach. So uh, with that in mind, this is the free stock pick for this week, HSOL. We will follow up on Tuesday night with how we traded HSOL, if we traded it at all, and uh, kind of give you an after-the-fact teaching tool on how we think on an intraday basis um, if we traded it. If not, uh, we'll also sh have a video out just to show you why we didn't trade it, uh, again, as an after-the-fact teaching tool. I'm not going to ramble on anymore here. Uh, we will put out a video tomorrow night, and uh, until then, have a good evening.